everyone, in this video, I wanna talk about the electric car market because we just had news that GM put an investment in Nikola Motors, a company with no vehicles out there. So, if you've been following, and you probably know that I am a hater of Nikola Motors. I think it is the worst electric car vehicle maker out there with the CEO of wannabe Elon Musk. That's just being honest. And you know what? So far, the stock has fallen from 90 plus dollars a share to 30. Now, I don't wanna say I top ticket at 90 bucks, but when it was trading around 60 to 65 bucks, I was pounding the table, this piggy was gonna break, and she did. So we get a one day pop. Okay, you're always gonna have that, especially in a highly shorted stock. You have short sellers who have to cover on positive news. You just don't get a five, 10% pop. You get a massive pop like today. We're up nearly 40% as I am uh, talking about this right now. But you do have to figure though, we were just trading around this range. I mean, let's be honest, a couple, uh, uh, a few weeks ago. So nothing, you know, again, nothing out of the ordinary right there. So when I look at the electric vehicle market, is this a time to go buy Nikola? Heck no, you're late to the party. Is it a time to possibly call upside, uh, sell upside call spreads and take advantage of that implied volatility? Yeah, that's one strategy. If you prefer directional buying deep in the money puts, well, uh, you know, just know that volatility is jacked up there. But one name that has been getting more attention is Workhorse Group. And this is concerning to me as well, just like Nicola. We had this nice rounding uh, pattern here with a breakout over the previous high here in Nicola Motors. Let me get my Epic pin out. This is, a, again, a very bull bullish pattern. So what we did was, here's our previous high, we'll say 22 and a half. Right here, we have our rounding pattern. We have a volume taking out the previous high. Eh, volume was kind of weak, I will admit. And then we faded. I mean, we're down $3 off the high already on a $20 stock. That's, that's a lot of selling. Uh, I'm not gonna deny that at all right there. But here in uh, Workhorse, there's still some upside, I feel like, after it consolidates. Unlike Nicola, which is just a bubble that popped. And then I look at one more name, and I really like this name, especially as you have money coming out of Tesla. Tesla did not get to join the S&P 500, and that's NEO. NEO did an offering up here. The stock got bought right back up. I like this. The stock broke out. It pulled right back into support. So we could call all this support right here, this, this range right here. We'll call it support. I like something like this. I'd rather be nibbling on a stock that's sub 20 or so around that range than let's say Tesla here. And I get it, it's down like 30% from the highs. But when I look at the electrical vehicle market, I love it. I, I think there's super cool cars. GM's coming out with the Hummer uh, EV uh, vehicle out there. You just don't want to chase and be late to the party because of a good news event. You want to wait till there's blood on the streets or when the market's weak and start accumulating a position and then have a longer term uh, time horizon or buy yourself time because we might see more and more car companies shift to that electric vehicle market and maybe some possible merger and acquisitions, which I would love to see. Thanks, everyone.